All right, everybody, this is Ross. I thought in today's video, I would talk to you guys about growing citrus trees in containers. Uh, this is something I've been doing for probably five or six years now, and I think I have some pretty good lessons to share with you guys. Uh, these are some trees right here that I just received from a nursery. So they're in a one gallon size pot. Uh, I have a bear seedless, a Lisbon lemon, and a calamundin. They're really good varieties, by the way for growing in pots. They produce smaller fruits that don't require as much energy. You may even have fruits that uh, will be on the tree with flowers for the next crop. Um, they're just wonderful and they perform really great and staying a little bit more compact or smaller uh, in containers. Now the first tip, believe it or not, besides the varieties I just mentioned, is actually to grow them in grow bags or fabric pots, uh, root pouches, whatever you want to call them. These are, by my estimation, probably the best for my climate, my location. Maybe different for where you guys live, but at least for here, I think they really do well in these, particularly because they like to dry out in between waterings. And that's really what these fabric pots do best is that they're difficult to actually keep them uh, moist at all times. Um, and they also get really wet very quickly. So um, I, do I do enjoy that for the citrus trees for that reason. The second reason I think they do really well in here is that if you have a citrus tree in one of these root pouches for an extended period of time, it's pretty difficult for them to become root bound. It takes a very long time and then therefore you won't have to do any root pruning. Um, or at least maybe if you do, it's years down the road and not something you have to worry about. So that's what we're doing today is we're gonna up pot these trees here. I have one that I've already done, as you can see. And then these other two here, we're gonna put them into a larger pot, into this root pouch. The second most important tip is actually in the soil. And I have myself here something called Just Natural. That's the name of the brand. And it's a soil conditioner, as it says here on the back. This stuff's really, really well draining. And, you know, citrus trees, if you know anything about them, they, believe it or not, are extremely prone to root rot. And I've really struggled with that, with that in my first couple of years of growing them. Um, if you don't have a really well-draining soil, it can be very difficult. They can die. They can lose their roots. If a lot of the roots start to die, the top's going to start to die back. So it's really critical, I think, to have something that's well-draining. When you water through the, the soil, it just goes right through. Um, it has a little bit of larger particles in it. It is a, you know, a darker colored soil. It's got good organic material in it. Um, this is just a good structure for our trees going forward so we have less problems, uh, especially if we get more of that air in the pot. So let me put this now, before we give our next tip, you put this in this larger pot and you can notice what I just did. I took the pot right off of the tree. I turned it upside down. I did that on purpose because I don't want to damage any of these roots. As I said, these trees are quite young and, and you know, prone to root problems. So I, whatever I do, I don't want to contribute to that and damage the roots. I don't want to pull on the trunk. I don't want to create any more issues than, uh, than there needs to be. So that's a really big one there. If you're going to put this in a larger pot at any time, do not damage those roots, guys. I know some people say tease the roots and all that. On a citrus tree, I really wouldn't, especially if it's young and it's in a smaller pot. Maybe if it's been in a large pot for a long time or even a smaller pot for a very long time, I'm talking like three or so years, and then maybe you can start thinking about it, but I don't know. For me, uh, my money's at uh, not bothering it. So we just added some soil in there. I'm gonna pack that down a little bit. And then uh, what I'm gonna do actually now is feed it. So that's our next tip is really, it's important to feed these trees. Being in containers, they just don't have enough nutrients. Um, so you always have to keep feeding them, right? It's very different than growing them in the ground. So one of the things I like to use nowadays is actually some chicken manure. Uh, we're gonna give this tree probably about a cup. This will slowly break down, give the tree some NPK but we gotta be careful because we really need to give the tree not just NPK, which is the nice nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, 
We want to give it though also the micronutrients. That's really critical. We can't forget about that. Got to cover all of our bases because these uh, citrus trees can be very prone to uh, a lack of nutrients, believe it or not. Um, I've seen actually lots of chlorotic leaves over the years. In fact, this leaf up here doesn't look that healthy. It's very easily seen in the leaves if your tree needs more uh, fertilizer. Um, so it's really critical if you want to prevent your trees from getting uh, any sort of chlor chlorosis, give it all the nutrients it needs. Cover all the bases, just like us as humans, you know. Make sure that we have all of our nutrients that we need. If we're missing one, it's going to throw us out of balance. So it's the same thing with these trees. Uh, the next big tip here, oh, by the way, I actually have some lime. That's another thing we're going to add in here. I also have some Epsom salts. I think green sand and ironite might be good choices as well, or rock dust, things like that to add in here. Then we're going to finish this off, add more soil, and then if you want, you can even throw some mulch on top, and that'll keep things a bit cooler. Uh, depending on where you guys live, that might be a better idea uh, than where I'm at. So that, I think, in all honesty, covers most of what I wanted to talk about. Growing them in pots really isn't all that difficult, um, but you can run into some of these common problems I mentioned if you're not careful. So try to really get that well-draining soil to avoid root rot. Uh, really feed them well, water them well. I highly recommend these root pouches or grow bags. And then the other big thing actually I forgot to mention is actually with pests. The uh, spider mites and scale really love citrus trees I've noticed. Especially if you have a drier environment you're growing them in pots, so the chances are, guys, you're probably gonna bring them inside for the winter, right? Um, so if you can leave them outside all year, that's great, but a lot of us are not so lucky. And unfortunately, when you bring them into those environments, they can really struggle with uh, some of those pests. So keep an eye out for it. You may wanna use some soap, insecticidal soap, maybe some neem, uh, or even spray the leaves. So we'll see you guys soon, all right? Thank you. If you, hit, if you like this one, hit that subscribe button for me. Give it a thumbs up. We'll see you for the next video. Take care.